were driven by a kudzu patch and that had an unpleasant smell or foul odor. Well, that smell, my friends, is courtesy of the kudzu bug. The kudzu bug was accidentally introduced into the state of Georgia in 2009 and is considered an invasive species. Invasive species are defined by the United States government as any introduced non-native organism in an ecosystem that causes economic, environmental, or human harm. While the kudzu bug can reduce a kudzu plant's total biomass by 32.5%, this insect can reduce soybean yield up to 47%, which negatively impacts growers and ultimately consumers. The only human harm caused by this insect is dermatitis when the insects are agitated on bare skin. Another negative impact this insect has is aggregating on light-colored houses in fall months, and they enter houses through open doors and windows and are thus considered an urban pest. To identify a kudzu bug, adults appear in oblong shape, olive green color with brown spots, and typically one-sixth to a quarter inch long. They have two generations a year, meaning you will see egg masses typically in March and April and again in July and August. And once eggs hatch, there will be nymphs, which are also called instars until finally developing into adults. Their life cycle has been observed to occur on kudzu and soybean in the United States. Prior to 2009, this insect's home range was confined to the Eastern Hemisphere. Being that this insect was an invasive species, it had little to no natural enemies to control the population naturally. This led to a rapid range expanse from Georgia to neighboring states, and now as far west as Louisiana, as far north as Delaware, and in some parts of Florida. However, population declines have been observed. There are some generalist predators, an entomopathogen, and a parasitic wasp to blame for this. The first report of a platygastrid wasp was found in kudzu bug eggs in 2013 in Alabama and Georgia, and since then, reports in Florida. This parasitic wasp native range was only the Eastern Hemisphere prior to 2013. This insect's larva parasite kudzu bug egg masses and develop into the egg instead of a kudzu bug nymph. Parasitism rates of kudzu bug egg masses range from 55 to 77 percent. The presence of this bug in the United States is somewhat puzzling because of its specific host preference, which includes the kudzu bug, the Japanese common stink bug, and a genus of shield bugs, which the latter two insects are not found in the United States. This likely leads to hypothesizing that parasitized kudzu bug egg mass was introduced to the United States, however, no one will ever know. Aside from a parasitic wasp, there is an entomopathogen, white muscardine fungus, that naturally occurs in the soil, which is controlling kudzu bug populations. This fungus is used as a biological control. This uses naturally occurring living organisms to control the pests. This fungus causes white muscardine disease in insects and has a relatively broad range, with some specifically per strain. The fungus works by the microscopic pores landing on an insect cuticle, which causes the fungus to germinate. The fungus then releases enzymes that break down the cuticle, which allows the fungus to penetrate inside of the insect and reproduce. The fungus steals nutrients and eventually kills the insect. In 2013, an episodic of the fungus was observed on kudzu bugs in a Georgia soybean field. Recent observations have reported of episodics in soybean fields and kudzu patches in Tennessee, Alabama, Georgia, and North Carolina. Researchers molecularly identified the group of the fungus as Class A using South Carolina cadavers while the fungus growing on North Carolina cadavers was molecularly identified as strain B B12 and Wenhank 1. Interestingly, these strains were observed in kudzu patch soils, suggesting that the natural inoculum in the soil has come in contact with the bugs. These naturally occurring control options will likely help in the battle against this insect pest for futures to come.